Welcome to Introduction to Quality Management, Part 2. The subject for this part is people, performance, and profit, how they're interlinked and how they are interdependent. Our agenda today will be just exactly that, people, performance, and profit. That's the way it goes. And then we'll look at defining quality management. What is what is this animal we're talking about? And then look at safe standards. to Make sure that what we're setting in place is literally falls into the criteria of safe. Uh, if we didn't have uh, quality management, that would be one thing. But if we did have it, what would be the results? The first thing would, we'd begin to see happen is we'd have increased profits. More would be done with less human effort. Uh, shorter sales cycles, uh, reduced callbacks uh, and inefficiencies, increased market share, which we all want, uh, happy and proud employees, and really, really important, loyal customers. Uh, quality is all about people, performance, and profit. In order to do those benefits of a quality management program, this is the things we really need to focus in on. So on the people side of it, the path to sustainable profit is re having uh, respect and honor for employees, for our customers, for our funders, whether it be utility or uh, government, uh, trade allies, suppliers, manufacturers. In other words, have honor and respect for everyone both internal to the company and external. And so as we work through this, it's very important that it's first always about people across all of the people we actually deal with on a regular basis. Uh, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you want uh, one year of prosperity, uh, grow seeds. If you want 10 years of prosperity, grow trees. If you want 100 years of prosperity, grow people. A common expression heard in Toyota is, we do not build cars, we build people. And Zig Ziglar said, you don't build a business, you build people, and the people build the business. So you see, it's all about people. Uh, a quality management process, putting it in place, again, is about the people, a culture that respects and honors everybody, creating the highest morale within the company you can possibly get. Performance is a culture that delivers on products and services that the customer wants and gains success for that customer. There's a big difference between success and satisfaction. We're going to talk about that in future lessons. Look forward to that. And then profit, products that produce right on time, at the right price, uh, and for what the customer really wants. Really, profit has to fall in those categories. Employee loyalty and satisfaction is really important. If you look at uh, the employee loyalty, it produces retention of those employees. It increases productivity, which with inside the company creates internal value and external value, both customer success, customer loyalty. There's a big difference between loyalty and satisfaction. We want them both. Satisfaction is a fleeting feeling. Loyalty is a change in behavior. I want loyal customers. If I have loyal customers that are satisfied, I get two things for sure, increased revenue as well as profitability. Next to that is performance, and that's effective and efficient work, both. They're both a very sustainable path to the bottom line. They're all about execution of safe standards, effective work, and efficient work. SAFE literally stands for Standards that are very specific, very clear, 
accessible. In other words, I, can I actually go out and see that the work was done? Am I able to measure it? Feasible. Can people actually do what I'm asking them to do? Because you see, if it's not feasible, then you don't have a safe standard. Is it able to be done? And then effective. Will, is it able to meet, you know, our, our desired outcome? Standards must absolutely be safe. Policies, procedures, you can throw a bunch of stuff in this. Policies, procedures, codes, standards, specification, they all need to be safe and fall into this, this criteria. Both for effective and efficient work, both. Effective is, the, is work that has the ability to meet the desired outcome. It, Efficient is your dollar spent, your, your money invested versus a return on that investment. And that's really important to us. Next, we'll talk about profit. It's a, the only path to sustainability in my business is a path to profitability. And profitability, we're talking about results. The cost of conformance, how much does it cost us to do quality and the cost of poor quality or inefficiency. So one is the cost of conformance and the other one is the cost of non-conformance. And then what will our return on our investment be? These are very important uh, criteria that we need to meet. It's about people, performance, and profit. Quality is about delivering what the customer wants and is willing to pay for. That's the definition of value. Value is what the customer wants and is willing to pay for. Without that, we don't exist. So that is the definition of value. We need what customers want and need. We need to have defect-free products on time and priced right every time, and that will increase our profit. Again, I want to leave you with an action plan that in this lesson of people, performance, and profit, begin to deliberately create a culture that respects and honors people under the people part. Begin to establish safe standards under the performance piece. You cannot have quality without safe standards. And then under profit, commit to measuring quality in dollars not how you're doing as compared to your competition. What is my cost of not doing it right? That's the measurement of quality. If we can do these three things and set them into action, we'll be well on our way to beginning down the quality road. And then let me thank you for being with me. I have left you a couple of reading assignments I would ask you to take and then uh, to read and then take the quiz on the presentation and on the reading assignments. And again, let me thank you for spending time. Thank you very much.